Bill Maher hosted uh, Patrick Bet David on his show. I've been on with Patrick Bet David. I thought the conversation was good. And also, Patrick Bet David has some uh, not really slick, but ways he thinks are slick of pretending to be principles over partisanship, which kind of fail. This happened on the Bill Maher program when the topic of Trump versus Biden came up. We're going to listen to that right now. Uh, it's very interesting. Let's take a listen. Reason on the left. Oh, that, sweetheart, you are preaching to the converted here. This is I'm always bitching about this. Um, I do not. You're supporting Biden, though. Of course, because we only get two choices. I mean, what is so hard to understand about about bad and worse? They forced America to take the vaccine bill. Seventy percent Americans took the vaccine and they didn't want where, to take where, it. Where, where, a lot of them. Didn't wait, 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 wait a it. second. When did the vaccine come about? Under Biden? Uh, no, two, under Trump. No, no, it didn't. It came two days after election was over with. Two days after election was over with, uh, Pfizer announced it was not under under Trump. Oh. They intentionally yeah, kept you're the right. vaccine you're right. after the election, so they gave the victory That's to That's right. But, uh, Trump, but Trump was not anti. Trump was like, I created the vaccine. I don't disagree with you. I agree with it's you. A, oh, he I takes see. it as a victory. I'm, with, I'm on the same page but, with you. Okay, but but there's a difference, though. Yeah, this is the one I, difference, Bill. But I may mean, I say this? May yeah. I say this? And then and then push back. Here's the difference. You know what the difference is? How many times have you heard Trump get on stage and brag about warp speed? We okay, saved 100 okay, million okay, people's just, lives, can right? Can I just ask you a simple yeah. yes or no question? Yeah. Well, not exactly yes or no, but who are you voting for? I'm voting for whoever allows me to make decisions more and not somebody that what? decides what's good for me or not. Bro. OK, this is the game. He's responding to a very simple question, Trump or Biden, with a principle leaving the audience to figure out, well, based on your principles, clearly you must be voting for or is it obvious? And Bill Maher does a pretty good job of actually picking apart how silly this all is. We're not in a debate here. No, no, the, the, the left. Wait, wait, the left I asked you a yes or vaccine. No. Wait a second. The state of we, California we, and we, the industry you're in force you to take the vaccine. So you don't know who you're voting for. I'm voting for whoever allows me to have more freedom with the choices I make. And, we, and you don't know that yet? It's definitely not going to be Biden. Well, then it would be Trump, wouldn't it? If it's between the two choices? What? But look at you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I. It's not even a close call, but by the way. the fact that you just can't own it is very weird, man. You know, this like, who are you voting for? Uh, well, the Constitution says <laughs> it's two words, Trump, Biden. I'm voting for Biden. I'm owning that. Do I think he's yeah, perfect? But, but I no. But I don't think it's I like think it's that. Not even I, don't, I don't think it's like that. I don't think it's like well, that. Well, just say you're for Trump. I, I, if, I, if a person watches my- I don't dislike my, you for your- I, but, I don't but dislike- Bill, if somebody watches my podcast, they're going to know who I'm voting for. Well- If somebody watches a podcast, they're going to sit there- But how odd that you can't just say it then. Because to me, I'm voting based on values. I'm not voting based okay, on. Okay, but we know what the values are of Biden and Trump and their and their policies right. are. We know everything the about them. The left them. is about force. The right is about choice. I I don't want to be forced again to have to do something I don't want to do. I get and there it is. That's not actually the truth, right? When you look at so many examples, the right is about choice and the left is about force. It's the left that says, "Hey." Let's let people, women in consultation with their doctors decide, is an abortion right for them? And for anybody who says an abortion is not right for me, give them that choice. Don't force anybody one way or the other. The right says, no, we must by legal force ban this procedure. So many examples. And even when they go to these supposed values games, they often have them backwards. I would have loved to have seen Bill Maher push back more on the fact that it's not just reductionist to do that. It's also inaccurate. Let's see how it follows up. That I'm I, you seem to think that that is the sunum bonum of all political issues. It is a very important one to me. There are other ones such as what? Uh, what's, what's above force versus, versus freedom? Crazy person in the White House. According to who? Again, well, it's my opinion. That's, That's right. My vote. It's all, okay. just like but it is set yours. that aside. Set but that it, aside. It's hardly my, <laughs> the only point. I love that. They love doing this. Okay, listen, listen. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Set aside Trump's crazy, Trump's an embarrassment, Trump's unqualified, he's an alleged criminal, he's a civilly liable rapist, he humili humiliated the country on the world stage, 
He failed to solve any of the problems he said he would solve. He doesn't know anything. He's threatening to take media outlets he doesn't like off the air. Put it all aside. Bill, when it comes down to it, are you for force or freedom? That's the reductionist game that they play. 28 candidacy. Then it's not going to be Trump or Biden. Forget about the name. And, and we don't even see a faceless candidate. Put a faceless candidate, Bill. So we don't have a name, right? That's faceless. What values are important to you? Force or freedom? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, That's, we're not talking 24. I, we're going 28. I mean, it's all good to be a reductionist, but you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. It's hard to take it seriously. It becomes hard to take it seriously because not only is it reductionist, it's inaccurate and it's deceptive and it's not a serious way of determining who actually has the best interests of the country in mind. Trump has only his own interest in mind. Biden genuinely seems to care about people. Does he always get everything right? Obviously not. But at least his motivations do seem to make more sense. Uh, good enough job, I would say, by Bill Maher. And uh, I'd love to talk to Patrick Bet David again. Maybe next time I'm in, I'm in Florida, we will make it happen.